Indonesian island of Bali may be a paradise for tourists, but behind the glossy brochures is a long list of serious problems. Terrorist attacks, water shortages, and now massive piles of garbage. Workers are scrambling to correct the island's waste management crisis, and they're getting some help from an enterprising Canadian. The CBC's John Northcott explains. Set to the tune of a famous Indonesian pop song, they sing, Separate Your Waste, Please Compost Your Garbage. It's a unique classroom in the middle of traditional Balinese rice paddies. They're taught an entirely new concept here, waste management. The environment is dirty, this boy says. There are lots of plastics, and people don't realize how bad plastic is for the environment. The hope is that the children will take the message home to their parents. The program was set up by EDEP, a non-governmental organization run by a Canadian, Petra Snyder. The changes on Bali in the past 20 years are almost impossible to describe. Since moving to Bali 20 years ago, Snyder has seen the whole society change. An explosion in tourists and foreign retirees brought investment and jobs to the island. But that led to overdevelopment, and with it, a devastating byproduct of the modern world. The Balinese solution to garbage disposal for generations was a simple one. Because it was biodegradable, all they had to do was throw it out the back door and the river took care of the rest. But with the arrival of plastics about a generation ago, everything changed. Now, the garbage just sits there. The plastic accumulates, blocking traditional river routes, and come the rainy season, there are devastating floods. This Bali resident lives in town, where behind a pretty street lurks a pile of rubbish. Her neighbors practicing traditional waste management. Yeah, it's sad. <laughs> and I think, yeah, this, this activity will, uh, uh, I think, will, be, will have any effect on the future. The challenge is to re-educate an entire population, a population that has only recently joined the modern world. In addition to the learning center, EDEP is working with the community to get people to separate their waste, including installing rudimentary recycling bins. One thing in Bali's favor, the tropical environment with its hot weather and high humidity creates perfect conditions for composting. That means when their trash is properly separated, it turns into mulch in a fraction of the time it would take in Canada. This facility processes some 50 tons of garbage a day. While the hand separation methods aren't exactly state-of-the-art, the results are impressive. Clean soil from waste. It's a start. It smells good. Well, the program is run by David Cooper. They are overwhelmed by all the plastic, all the uh, things, and the whole consumerism here started maybe only 20 years ago, and uh, people have to adapt. Waste management has to adapt. Bali is 20 plus years behind in terms of, you know, the problems didn't hit us that long ago. And they hit hard and they hit fast. So, you know, we've got a lot of work to catch up. Their parents led a simple island life. The huge changes in a short generation mean these students will have to learn all they can if their small part of the world is going to be able to head into the future. John Woodcock, CBC News, Bali, Indonesia.